Okay. Okay, this is uh, October 4th, 2008, and we're going to talk about Nature's Canvas, a new line. Um, I've never really introed this into the market. This is the first time I'm really talking about it. And uh, we've done about four videos today, so I'm run running a little bit low on energy, but uh, uh, it reminds me of when I used to do the shows. I used to be out on the road 130 days a year, sometimes two, three weeks at a time, and I would uh, I'll just, uh, I showed this in an earlier video uh, when you do the studio tour of my house. And uh, I've got uh, listed here every show I ever did under the Gobel brand. Uh, so like 14 years of shows, 450 shows. And I would hit some of these shops. I'd be so tired because I might go from Denver to o Oklahoma City up to Lansing, Michigan. And by the time I hit Lansing, three days of shows on the airplanes and hit the shops, I'd be real tired. and. Uh, uh, collectors were so great because they embraced me and gave me a lift. So I'm going to think about that when I'm giving this talk when I was tired. It gives me a feeling of my humanity and I think that's good because uh, uh, this work represents the life of one man. It's the simplest way I could say it. So uh, Nature's Canvas is a, a wildlife line that we've just introduced uh, this year and um, Wildlife has been a topic that's been near and dear to me. Uh, uh, my first real wildlife pieces uh, came about in, I think, 1978. And it was in what we call the pre gobels Look how tiny these are. This was in my 1 12th scale period. Now, again, what's great about when you see the videos, if we had this on the website, you really would not realize how tiny these pieces are. So... This was the first market that I had, was the miniature dollhouse market. And when I joined Goebel, uh, what we did was we broke the collections into Oriental, Wildlife, Women's, Americana, and uh, there were uh, about two or three more. I can't remember them right now because I am tired. But uh, we continued with what we would call the Wildlife Series. And we called it Wildlife. We didn't call it Birds or Songbirds because I really saw it expanding. And I ended up doing birds for like 14 years. It's such a wonderful, endless uh, category. And you can see this winter cardinal in this 112 scale. Uh, one of my favorites. Uh, and again, when I would do the early shows, I would talk about the art form of miniatures. This is probably one of my all-time favorite pieces. Uh, here it is. Uh, maybe it's max three-quarters of an inch tall. And look at the visual clarity that's in that. Really... Uh, you know, we would train people just to do those eyes and just to do the glazing of the colors underneath there. And these painters we would train, we had 60, 65, 67 painters uh, on board at Gobel Miniatures that we trained. And uh, we broke them into, you know, about four different layers of approaching from uh, preparation of the piece, grinding, preparation of the white surfaces, glazing, and then a group that we had do the features. So uh, after I left Gobel, we continued with the idea of wildlife. And you can see I pushed them up a little bit larger because I thought, I thought that the art form, I could still do in scale. Uh, and this is very much in the uh, feeling of Edward Marshall Beam. They did these wonderful uh, porcelain figurines. The Beam name was just a superb uh, brand in the porcelain industry. And uh, I just love the detail. Look at this little, little tiny beetle on there. Look at those little legs. And my wife, Eva, uh, did those legs. Uh, she, we had a group of five just expert painters that worked for us in our private home studio. So, um, then the other thing, wildlife. You know, wildlife, I really never got into, like, tigers and elephants and things like that. I did... Of course, elephants, uh, you know, in that, uh, in some of the pieces, I've got a couple elephants, but, you know, look at this wolf, you know, in the Little Red Riding Hood story. So where I could put animals in, I really took advantage of it. And this is, uh, this piece, uh, we did a bronze collection, and this piece stands out in front of the uh, Denver Art Museum in uh, Denver, Colorado. I think it's around 12, 13 feet tall. Uh, Grizzly's Last Stand. And uh, then, uh, one of my favorites, it's not uh, this fox's wildlife, but
But when I get into doing these little landscapes, uh, here you can see the fox hunt. And uh, you can see the fox in the background. And uh, I used to have, I'll get white hair now, but I used to have red hair all my life. And that's supposed to be me, the fox. And you can see uh, when you turn the piece around, happy ending, the fox gets away. I just love this piece. And you can see the trees here cover up the dogs and the trees cover up the horse. So you could turn it that way instead of, but it's, this isn't meant for uh, scale work. So anyways, my problem was how do I bring wildlife to this art form in good taste? That's the question I've had for since 1978. So in this one I tried uh, approaching it differently. Uh, it's called Cougar Canyon. And it, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, I'd still like to explore this yet. This is one of these ideas that I've done. I think I did this maybe 2005, but see here's the cougar in the rock. See that? Uh, where it's hidden in the rock. And this guy's ripping by in his motorcycle and doesn't doesn't know he's being watched. I wonder, nice, nice feeling. And then look, here's another cougar here. See his paw and his face in the rock, his hind leg coming out. And uh, my wife Eva has introduced me to cats, and I've got a studio cat named Dio. And uh, so I had a real good feeling for this uh, in the stone. So uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, then, of course, uh, uh, the Disney line of Bambi has been great for me to explore my feelings for wildlife. What I liked in this one is, uh, you know, this little mouse out of Bambi, and he runs underneath the uh, mushroom. Look at these uh, drips of water coming down, and um, it has good feeling about it. And then I've explored more Bambi in Gallery of Light. Again, wildlife. Uh, push that button. And look at that. So all along it's been with me, but just how to showcase it has really been a puzzle to me. So let's take a look. 